Benjamin in San Francisco, you're on KJ Ray Taya Farrow. Good morning. Hey, morning, Ray. A good show as usual. Listen, um, I wanted to agree with you that your mother is one in a thousand. Um, I have a child that's over at Mission High School and one over at Everett. And um, I record, uh, normally I record your show and listen it to it uh, to, to it in a day. And, you know, my child has seen guns in the school. And um, he's also on a, a dispute resolution team. Mm -hmm. And I've been rebuked by him for listening to your show. Uh, he hears your arguing and your bullying that you do with people who don't agree with you. Then he comes to me and tells me, well, you know, there's people in the school, you know, when there's a, when there's a fight or a discussion or an argument, you know, things get uh, accelerated really quick and, and, and emotions run high and stuff. And uh, he's amazed when I listen to you. Um, when you start beating up on people and when you uh, come across people that don't agree with you and you belittle them, you insult them, and he, he, you know, he said, you know, if, if he was in school at, at, at over at Mission and you talk like that face to face with somebody, either there'd be a fight, a knife pulled out, or a gun pulled out. Oh, absolutely, and I wouldn't do it. But, but, but the problem is, you do it on the air. That's exactly right, and you know why? I'm curious. He's asked me that, and uh, well, I'm well, well, the for you. well, the answer is he would do it too if he were a professional performer doing talk shows. Oh. He would do it too. This is entertainment, sir. It is not information. It is not news. I do an entertainment show just as surely as the disc jockey on K-Jazz spins discs. That's the form of entertainment you get off of, off of K-Jazz and KCSM. Uh, other people have entertainment with rock music. We have entertainment with talk shows. You consider entertainment insulting? Absolutely. Absolutely, sir. Uh, there are, uh, and, uh, and, and, and my ratings prove that, that I'm right on the mark. And, and that's why you find so many other talk show hosts uh, copying exactly what I do. <laughs> and as a matter of fact, uh, this might come as a surprise to you. I guess it would. But there are stations all over the nation, when they're training their talk show hosts, they get copies of tapes from Ray Tiger Farrell on KGO in San Francisco. And I consider it to be the highest compliment. And so when you consider, um, when you talk about uh, examples of uh, violence in the media, and when you talk about, you know, examples that we should be to our children, um, you are an example that we should not hold up to our children. Well, it, it, no, it, it, it depends on what you want to do. But you see, I'm doing my job. My, uh, 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 ABC doesn't pay me the, the salary they pay me. Uh, to inform people, not at all, sir. They don't. They they they, they don't pay me this salary to to educate people. They pay this salary because this is an entertaining program and this is an entertaining uh, station. Now you're to be informed during the newscast, but when it wait wait, but when it comes to the talk programs. Uh, you'll have talk programs on sports, you'll have it on, 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 on movie and films, uh, you'll have it on, on news talk, where we make it as lively and, and as entertaining as possible. But you and, 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 and listen to me. Wait, wait, let me finish. I've been listening. Okay, I know, but listen some more. Uh, and, uh, and the fact of the matter is, Ray Tiger Farrell has found a way to keep people awake, and as a consequence to that, the ratings that I have here in the middle of the night on the west coast of the country are the highest ratings on any talk show ever, ever, sir, ever. And uh, I have been number one ever since I've been on in the middle of the night. So, so, so all I've got to say uh, to your son, um, I, uh, I, I, I debate all over the place. I debate in colleges. I debate in universities. I debate in churches. I debate in civic auditoriums. Uh, I debate all over the place. I debate uh, in, in convention centers, and when I'm in those arenas, my demeanor is absolutely different. Absolutely, sir, because I'm not on the air performing an, an, an entertainment program. I am there debating uh, either a serious issue or a humorous issue, uh, uh, whichever it might happen to be. But the demeanor is absolutely different because I'm not on the air. But when he's asked me about, um, about your, your concern about uh, 
media uh, and, and the responsibility of people having images and, and, and people and, and children having uh, role models and stuff and, and people are talking and discussing things out. Uh, and, 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 you know, he kind of laughs, laughs sarcastically because... Uh, well, he can laugh all he wants, um, but I'm laughing all the way to the bank. Uh, you're laughing all the way to the bank. A absolutely, sir. And I've been doing that for... Be well, wait, wait a minute, sir. And I've been doing that for... Uh, uh, no, well, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. But you no, wait, wait a minute, sir. Wait a minute. And, and I've been successful at this for 25 years. So, 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 so all, all I've got to say to, to your wonderful son uh, is that if he wishes to be successful... In life, he should be a hypocrite. No, no, wait, wait a minute. No, wait, wait, he wait. Should be a hypocrite. Oh, now, now I'm gonna pot you down because I'm trying to say something, and you keep butting in. You can call me a hypocrite after. <laughs> no, no, you you can call me a hypocrite after I'm through. But but just let me say what I want to say. Uh, if if he is going to be successful, I won't get a chance to say what. Oh, oh yes, 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 you will. Yes, you will. I I guarantee it. I'm gonna be on until five. And, and I'll keep you on as long as you want to stay on, all right? Side bet, a side bet. Let's bet a dollar on the side. No, 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 no. Let's, let's bet a thousand dollars. Let's bet a thousand dollars that I'll keep you on as long as you want. Uh, you can afford a thousand. That's right. That's right. That's right. Because I have learned how to do my job. Mm. That's why I can afford the thousand. Now, there are a lot of people who can't afford the thousand because they haven't learned how to do their job. And what your son Did must... You oh, well, wait. Wait a minute, sir. Phrased. Wait a minute, sir. What your son must learn from you is that whatever task he decides to, to, to undertake, that he should do it with his fullest capability and, so and, 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 understand pre and, under and understand precisely what it is he's about. Now, when I got into broadcasting, I, I have to tell you, I was asked in 1967 uh, by the president of a broadcasting company here in the Bay Area uh, to do a talk show. And I did. And, uh, and at first, I, um, I thought, oh, boy, what an opportunity. I'm going to be able to save the world, and I'm going to be able to get up and do this and do that and do that and the other. I quickly learned that saving the world was not the name of the game. But I also learned, I also learned that I could pick and choose the issues. And while I'm presenting it in what obviously is an entertaining way, I can also throw out bits and pieces of information. And so the, the course of the last 25 years, a quarter of a century, of my being on the air has been exactly that. And I'm extremely proud. Uh, I've been on the air that long. Not that many people stay on the air that long. This is a very summary business, S-U-M-M-A-R-Y. Very few people last on the air more than 36 months. But very few of us have been on the air as long as I have. And hardly, you know, very few people have the ratings I have. So, so, so in, instead of sitting there and trying to, to, to make snide remarks and what have you, right. you, you have to consider the me you right. in which this is done. Right. I, I hope that the profession that you're in, whatever it is, uh, is, uh, is the profession that you uh, are involved with. Right to the fullest extent of your capability to do so, right. as I am. Now, now you can go ahead. Thanks. Listen, uh, I'm successful in my business, and I, after half an hour, uh, we spent quite a, quite a uh, few uh, moments uh, arguing, my son and I, about uh, certain things that you said on our show. Oh, well, sir, I, uh, don't go over that again. Let me finish my... No, don't, don't go over that again. I, 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 I already answered that, so move on to something else. The bottom line, the bottom line I told him was, we realized that we've been talking about Ray Taliaferro for half an hour, which means that he might, uh, that he has us talking. He has Absolutely. us talking. Absolutely. Absolutely. The bottom line is... The bottom line is that whatever he's doing, whether uh, whether he's right or wrong, and he was on the uh, on the side that uh, you were uh, wrong, and I was kind of hemming and hawing. I told him, "Hey, uh, no matter what you think of him, um, he's had us uh, arguing for absolutely the power, absolutely." And to me, that is wonderful. You don't have to agree with me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And uh, no one has to agree with me. Not your lovely little son, not you, not anybody. What, what, what I, I would feel um, uh, badly about is if all of a sudden the ratings started coming out and I saw that I was losing audience. But instead of losing audience, over the years I've gained audience. And I'll tell you, it's a, when, when you're in this business, the name of this business is to gain, your, is to gain audience. 
and by God, I've done so. Uh -uh. Uh, ABC is happy. My boss is happy. I'm happy. Uh, this has been a wonderful profession, and I'm also happy uh, that while I have been able to 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 get more and more listeners, I have been able to at least um, promote within their lives a great deal of thinking on some very serious issues, whether or not they agree with me. At whatever cost. Uh, th there's no cost. There's no cost whatsoever. I'm doing my job. And my job is to get you, first of all, to listen, get you to keep listening, and get you to start thinking about what it is I'm putting out there. And that's exactly what you're doing. And to me, that's 100% of my job. Uh, and on top of it, I get paid for doing it. Uh, I mean, that's got to be wonderful. At whatever cost, besides beating up on people. Well, the, no, no, it's, it's not a matter of beating up. Everybody who calls is anonymous. They're anonymous. You're anonymous. I don't know who the hell you are. <laughs> no, really, really. I mean, so, I mean, and everybody knows that everybody plays this game. Oh, yeah. Right. I mean, and, and, and you know, you've been listening to me for years. Your son has been, been berating you for years for listening to me. But the, the fact of the matter is, you know exactly what I'm going to do over the air. Uh, you know, you, you, you know I'm going to start hollering at somebody. I'm going to call somebody an idiot. I'm going to challenge somebody to do this. But at the same token, you keep listening. Now, why is that? Good question. It is. Thank you very much for your call, and keep listening. You owe me a thousand bucks. Have a line open in San Francisco at 441 Okay, I'll be damned if I'm going to sit up here in the middle of the night and just... Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Ray Tagliaferro program, and uh, we're going to talk about something extremely exciting here, and uh, just give me an ear. Give, give a little listen here, uh, and uh, when you feel like calling in, why, just simply call in, and, and we'll discuss what needs to be discussed. Here we are in the middle of the night on the waterfront in the ABC Broadcast Center in downtown San Francisco. And uh, it's a wonderful thing, and I have this full richness of a deep voice, and uh, I am going to um, use this voice uh, to just soothe and to... Oh, the hell with that! <laughs> No, 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 no. Folks, I'm going to return in just a moment. KJO News Talk time is 2.50 in the morning. And uh, let's go to uh, Kay in the beautiful town of Windsor. How are you this morning, Kay? I'm pretty good, and you're excellent this morning, Ray. Oh, thank you uh, very much. George, your last retort uh, uh, explicitly. <laughs> uh, but I'm one of those uh, inept gun nuts. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, yes. Uh, I don't know that there should be a total control on guns because I don't believe the government should have the only gun to kill us with. Well, uh, as long as... Uh, that's, that's my own. Thing. Well, you're certainly entitled to your opinion. I see no reason to raise any kind of point of opposition. I'll just let that settle in over the ears and the minds and the souls of the people listening this morning. It's great to hear from you, Kay. My first time, and I, I truly enjoy you. Yeah, well, thank you so much. I've enjoyed this little bit of discourse that we've allowed ourselves to engage in. Three, it was 3.50 and not 2.50. Yeah, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad your your employer uh, overlooks those two. <laughs> well, no, 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 that, that isn't what he overlooks. The yeah, fact I, is, no, no, my point is he's, he's asleep. <laughs> no, you're excellent enough to, to... Listen, uh, uh, thank you very, very much for your call, Kay. It's always good to hear from someone so intelligent, warm, wonderful. You're probably even sensuous. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much. It's been a lot of fun opposing your position. And let's go to Janet. Janet in the wonderful metropolitan community of Newark, California. How are you, Janet? How are you? Oh, I, I, I couldn't be better, but it is so decent of you to inquire. Well, I'll tell you, Ray, I called in. I'm, pre, I'm a pretty uh, uh, person who's always uh, serious about things. Now, I would like to say that I'm thoroughly disgusted that the government 
doesn't put metal detectors in the schools because they could stop the children from having guns by having metal detectors at the doors that the kids go into. Are you oh, are you expressing an opinion, Janet, that uh, children should not be carrying guns to school? Correct. Uh, why? Why? Why is that? Why would you want to limit the freedom of young people? Well, that's another thing. Um, and the last I heard was they claim that uh, they can't do that because children have rights. You know. Uh, you honestly believe that children have the right to carry AK-47s into uh, the junior high schools? I don't think they have a right to carry guns or knives into a school. Well, if 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 I, if I might be so bold, I don't wish to shock you, but. Uh, I would like to express uh, an element of agreement with your sentiment. I think that you are right on the mark with that. Uh, I, I, I hate to be so forthright in, in the expression of an opinion here on KGO, but I greatly appreciate your call. Children should not take guns to school. What do you think, uh, those of you mothers and fathers in the audience? Do you think that that's a legitimate position to hold? Do you think that children um, uh, perhaps should ha have uh, a little more say in whether or not they take machine guns to school? Cute little darlings though they are. Uh, boy, this is getting sickening. Uh, Greg, in Daily City, you're on KGO with Ray Tayyaferro. How are you, Greg? Real good. How are you, Ray? Just fine, thank you. I'm a very recent listener for about the last six months. And I can say that I don't always agree with you. I scream at you on the radio. I yell at you. But you had a really good point with your last caller. Um, granted, what you do, and you do it the best when you go to work, that's what makes everything count. I mean, you are... That is what counts, actually. Exactly. I mean, I scream at you, and, I, and I'm a gun lover, too. Mm -hmm. But you do what you're, you're paid to do. And you do keep me awake, and you keep me interested, and I never turn you off. No. Uh, keep up the good... Well, effort. thank you very much for your call. See, now, folks, now, what do I say? What do I say? Of course that's the case. You know, I have found that in uh, life, in fact, in, in everything that I do in life, I follow this little creed, and you get out of it what you put into it, really. Meaning that if you, for example, here on the air, if you put a lot of energy into what you um, uh, put out, you're going to get a lot of energy coming back in. And that energy in and of itself is something that uh, it's totally intangible, but by God, is it a force. And you, uh, you can feel it, even though it's intangible, even though it's, it, it, it's just a, a, a state of thinking uh, in the exchange of, uh, uh, you can call it karma or whatever you want. But the fact of the matter is, um, uh, I have long since learned that you get back uh, what you put out. And so if you, if you put out uh, a lot of energy, a lot of uh, uh, the, the kind of um, dynamism that um, one needs, uh, then you're going to get it back. And that's, that's what makes for, in my opinion, uh, one, one heck of a program. I enjoy coming in here, really. It is the fastest four hours I ever spend. And exciting, too. Sometimes it's very exciting. Sometimes more exciting than other times, obviously. But uh, it, it's very exciting. Because I know that there are thousands and thousands of people. I mean, we, we speak to um, li literally millions of people here in the middle of the night. Uh, in, in other words, millions have the opportunity to tune in. Uh, and since I do have a large audience, uh, there are thousands of you all over the place who know a lot about a lot of things. Hello? 